Well, a La Mesa middle school student is accused of threatening a teacher with a gun. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live at La Mesa Arts Academy. And Rachel, court documents say the boy's father left the weapon out at home. Wale, the court documents say the 13 year old was supposed to be cleaning the gun. Instead, he used it to make a video threatening a teacher here. The police declaration reveals the department learned about a threat posted in a group chat on Snapchat on January 6. Two seventh grade boys at the La Mesa Arts Academy made the threat toward their teacher. Kate Hassan has three children at the school. She says the principal sent an email but didn't give details. They told us just that there would be extra police, that they were taking care of uh, taking care of everything. Court documents state one boy posted a photo of himself holding a knife and a message that read, Everyone say bye to the teacher. We are not including the teacher's name. The documents say the other 13 year old responded with a video showing himself holding an assault rifle and saying into the camera, you think a knife will be bad? How about a whole gun? It makes these kids feel scared. It's sad that they have to think that way. The superintendent says the district can't comment on confidential student information, but sent 10 News a statement that says in part, please be assured that the safety of our students and staff is our top priority. In cases involving threats against staff and or students, the district takes appropriate action to ensure the safety of all involved. The students aren't the only ones in trouble. Last week, a judge granted the police department's request for a gun violence restraining order against the father of the boy who was holding the gun. The petition states the man left the rifle out in pieces for his son to clean and put back together. The officer wrote, quote, allowing a 13 year old child unsupervised access to a semi-automatic rifle is reckless, shows complete disregard toward human life and could result in a school or other mass shooting. Kids here say they haven't seen the two boys in class lately, but again, the district is not confirming the severity of any possible punishment. Reporting live in La Mesa, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. Rachel, thank you.